hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in the last video we discussed about anticlinal structure fluid types and fluid contact however i have realized that there is a need for us to know how these fluid types are identified in hydrocarbon reservoirs using well logs and i think it is important we start this video from how these well logs are acquired okay so we can say this video is all about formation evaluation all right my name is Alako Oladako Olasheye I'm a petroleum geologist with several years of reservoir studies experience okay so let's get started formation evaluation helps to evaluate hydrocarbon bearing formations penetrated by a well and appraising their economic importance. So what this means is, formation evaluation is essentially used to check the presence of hydrocarbon in the reservoir, and then to see if the hydrocarbon contained in the reservoir can be produced in commercial quantity. And of course, formation evaluation does not end there. It goes further to establish the quantity and the producibility of hydrocarbon in a formation through a well bore. Okay? However, there are four questions that formation evaluation can address. Okay? One, are there any hydrocarbon in the formation? And if so, what type or types are they? Okay? So, like I mentioned earlier, it is important to determine the presence of hydrocarbon in formations penetrated by a well bore. Two, where do we have the hydrocarbon? Obviously, this is a question of depth. So the formation depth in which the hydrocarbon is contained must be identified. For instance, hydrocarbon bearing sands can be found at 8,000 feet TVDSS or 3000 meters depending on the preferred depth unit all right the next question is how much hydrocarbon is contained in the formation this is a question of volumetrics where you integrate petrophysical results to calculate original oil in place that is oip okay so this third question is actually critical to making competition and production decisions because the volume of hydrocarbon in place must be known before making further decisions. All right. And lastly, how producible are the hydrocarbon? This is the most difficult question to answer because the permeability of the reservoir must be known. And then the API of the hydrocarbon must also be known because it will tell us if the hydrocarbon is heavy or light. All right. And then what type of drive mechanism can be used to move hydrocarbon towards the well bore and up to surface? Okay. So all this information must be provided before attempting this key question. All right. So in the next video, I will walk you through well logging. Welcome to well logging video. In this video, I will walk you through how well log data is acquired, and then we will look at the uses of well logs data. Okay? Let's get started. Well logging is a process of acquiring data. That give complete details of the petrophysical properties of Dan Hole. Okay? And it is an integral aspect of formation evaluation. However, it is important to say that well logging is based on the premise that different rocks have different physical properties. Alright? So the acquired data is called well log. And a well log is a detailed record of the geological formations and events that are encountered during drilling process. All right. Well logs actually reveal everything about a well bore. 
What they do is, they examine and record data relating to well composition. That is, the type of elements and minerals that are present in a rock. Okay? And a rock may contain sandstones and shales. Or it may contain only limestones. Okay? They also capture well trajectory. That is, division survey data. And then, they take record of well diameter. Alright? Well logs also record the strength of rocks with respect to fracture. That is, they take note of rock integrity. Alright? They also capture the presence of rock fluids. That is, they identify the presence of gas, oil, and water in a rock. And then they review their salt concentration. That is, their salinity and then their pressure and saturation. Alright? So, how are these well logs acquired? I'm going to illustrate how well logs are acquired in a well bore, particularly gamma ray and resistivity logs. Okay? But before we go to that, there are two methods of logging. One, wireline logging. This method involves lowering logging tools into the well at a regular interval to acquire well data. 2. Logging while drilling, that is, LWD. This method entails incorporating logging tools into the drilling tools so that both drilling and logging will be carried out simultaneously. Alright? And of course, for the purpose of this illustration, we will be using wireline logging. And then, let me just say that in the onshore, wireline logging is carried out in a logging truck. Okay? And in the offshore, wireline logging is done in a small cabin placed on the rig. But whether you are in the onshore or offshore, the same logging tools are used. Okay? So in this case, let us assume we are on either of these locations. Okay? So, when wireline tools are attached to a wireline or steel cable, they are lowered gradually to the bottom of the well. Alright? And you may want to question why the logging tools are first lowered into the bowl down to its maximum depth without taking records or logging the penetrated formations. Well, the reason is simple. When the logging tools are pulled back to the surface, this direction will ensure tightly stretched steel cable, which gives more positive depth control on the log. Alright? So, as these logging tools are pulled back to the surface, these logging tools pass through different rock layers and they record the geophysical properties of the rock and their fluids using gamma ray and resistivity logs. Okay? So with this illustration, we have been able to log the well from surface down to TD, that is, total depth. Okay? And then, five sand zones have been identified using gamma ray log. And then, the resistivity log has revealed which of these sand zones is hydrocarbon bearing? Because in hydrocarbon bearing sands, resistivity increases as conductivity decreases. Okay? So, as you can see, all the five sands are hydrocarbon bearing. But then, we don't know which type of hydrocarbon is contained in these reservoir sands. Since we did not include neutron and density porosity logs in the well logging illustration. Alright? So basically, four logs are used to carry out formation evaluation. They include gamma ray logs, resistivity logs, neutron logs, and density logs. In a subsequent video, I will teach you how these four logs are used to identify hydrocarbon bearing sands fluid presence, fluid types, and fluid contacts, okay? 
let's take a look at the uses of well logs data. Well logs data are used for mythological interpretation. That is, they are used for detailed description of rock units. They are also used for correlation purposes, which determines formation lateral extent. Okay? They are used for porosity determination, structural and isopack mapping, as well as pore geometry and permeability determination. Well logs data are also used to determine productive zones and then the depth and thicknesses of zones. They determine shaliness of formations, distinguish gas, oil, and water, and then they help to determine hydrocarbon reserves. Okay? In a subsequent video, I will walk you through well logs, particularly the basic well logs that are being used in formation evaluation. Okay? So that is all I have for you in this video. If you have any questions or comments, you can send me an email and you can also reach out to me on LinkedIn. And if you have challenges in a project or reservoir studies, maybe you are working on seismic interpretation, subsurface mapping, petrophysical analysis, even static reservoir modeling, you can bring it on and let us share ideas thoughts and knowledge okay and then don't forget to share and subscribe for more videos see you next time